Okay, hi, good morning. So I am almost ready. I got my hair blow dried for the first time. So I've only been washing my hair like every, like three or four days, but um, today was hair washing day, but I also was editing another video and I've got to go get my oil change. So I'm running to go take the car to get the oil change, finish editing there. And then I'm going to come back and put some makeup on and then we're going to clean and I need to clean the apartment because I'm starting to lose my mind. Well, I forgot. I needed to get gas because I have none. I like really ran it like low. So we're gonna get gas real quick. Okay, gas time. This gas is so expensive in North Carolina. Oh, Porky and I are going to, uh, look at that. It looks so dirty on camera, but I mean, it's dusty, but it ain't that dirty. Girl, I need to clean my car out. What the heck? I keep one of these things in my car though. I got it at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so I wipe it off, but Forky's up there chilling. Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we are just gonna tidy up real quickly. So today I'm gonna just tidy up the kitchen, do the dishes, wipe everything down, and then I am going to clean the floor, all the wood floor in the house, and then I am going to move to the master bedroom where I'm just gonna kinda make the bed and tidy up in there a little bit because I washed the sheets already earlier this week. And then I'm gonna go to the second bedroom and I'm gonna finally put the bed skirt on the bed in there to see if I can kinda hide what's underneath the bed that I'm storing. But I have a funny feeling that we're gonna be washing this a lot because I really had to clean the dog hair off of the comforter in there and I will show you guys that at the closer to the end of the video. Baby.
So the lint rollers came in from Amazon. I bought a pack of six. I think it was a six or seven pack. I'll link it down below. Uh, it's the cheapest lint rollers that I could find for as many as I bought. Um, I usually get them at Dollar General, but I don't know if there is one here in North Carolina or not yet. I know there's Dollar Trees, but I'm not sure about Dollar General. But anyway, um, Amazon, I'll link that down below. They are actually really easy to take off to. I find a lot of times if I buy things in bulk or if I buy a cheaper version of the lint rollers, they don't peel off the next layer easily. These came off super easy. That was just all off those two pillows that were on the couch, but I know when I put cream or white things on the couch, they're gonna get covered with hair. So we're just gonna move on and we are going to vacuum and then finish cleaning the floors. absolutely love tidying up the master bedroom. Even if it's real quick in the morning, I like to just pull the bed up, fluff the pillows, so the pillows don't go flat. Like I said in my last video, that's really a thing <laughs> for me right now is flat pillows, but I just feel like I've accomplished something by picking up the bedroom. And then I can come home and it's all picked up and it's nice and then I don't have to worry about it and then I can get into bed a little bit more comfortably every night. Also, I would love some suggestions on what to do on the wall that the, mat, the bed's on. I have no idea what to do with that wall. It is huge and it's very high and I don't want to put anything up there that's super heavy either because I'm trying to not put any holes in the walls so that we don't have to worry about either we have to fix them or because the bigger the item then we've got to put anchors in the wall and I don't know, I just don't know what to do with that wall. So if you guys have any suggestions, I would love to hear them in the comments below. So every day, cat litter box. Every day, every day, right in this little section. Let me go back out. Right in this little section. So that's why I scrub so hard right through here. Is because that's sort of like main traffic area to the cat box. I am gonna show you guys in another video like the cat box and how I clean it. It's not a normal cat box. So I will show you guys how I clean that in another video. But that's. That's only the litter I get with this cat box. So if anybody has cats, let me know in the comments below if you have a ton of cat litter that your cat drags out of their cat box. But this is literally all I've dealt with for maybe, I mean, a little over 24 hours, probably since five o'clock last night. And it's, yeah, so probably 24 hours um, right now. But that is like nothing in the cat mom world. Nothing, that, that's nothing. bedroom and I am going to start lint rolling off the bottom of the comforters. I have two comforters on the bed just to kind of fill it up a little bit and make it look a little bit more fluffy. Um, so it got to the point where I was using so many that I went and got the Dyson and I did just go ahead and vacuum the bottom of the comforters off. I do it all the time. I do it with our bed also just because it's easier and I don't want to stick it in the wash machine also with all that hair on it. So those are my two suggestions. Our lint rollers or just vacuum it. So here is the bed skirt that I got. I could not effectively show on camera, like I had to take the whole bed apart and then I had to flip the mattress up to get the 
bed skirt on the bed, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to strip the bed, put the bed skirt on. I bought a full size bed skirt for this bed. I should have bought a queen. I, bed skirts tend to run kind of small, I think, and I should have got a queen. It fit, but it was small. So I had to pull it towards the one side a little bit more than the other. It didn't really hide the bottom of the the bed or anything as much as I had wanted it to. But like I said, it's probably just going to be trial and error at this point just because I know Lady is going to come in and she's going to rub around it as usual. She'll do it even when I'm not in there. So we'll just see what happens with the bed skirt situation. But we tried. I did buy it on Amazon. I'll link it down below. Like I said, if you do buy this bed skirt, buy a size up. If you have to for a full size bed, just go ahead and buy a queen. I find with this bed that we've got, it's a full size, but everything that I buy for is queen that fits it a lot better. Thank you guys so much for watching the video today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Remember to hit the notification bell down below to be reminded every time I do upload a new video. Thanks guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.